Hello， 大家好，欢迎大家来到跟杨老师学中文频道。我是杨丽璇。Hi everyone, welcome you all to study Chinese with Teacher Yang channel. I'm Yang Liqun. The Chinese lessons in this channel have been especially designed for the Chinese language learners who are in beginner and intermediate levels. The lessons for beginner level will be broadcasted every Saturday, whereas those for intermediate level will be broadcasted on Sundays. Moreover, there will be extra lessons and lessons and chit chat China sessions from my old podcast programs, made especially for YouTube channel. Apart from what I've mentioned, I also produce new clips related to Chinese lessons and cultures and more, if time allows. Please share, subscribe, and press the bell for notification. So you won't miss a nice Chinese language learning program in which each single episode was carefully and attentively done for you all. In today's lesson, you get to learn the words related to daily routine. You get to know. Vocabulary on daily routine in general, and also the words related to housework and hobbies and more. So, if you are ready, give me a green and let's get into our classroom. Our main word for today: there are four characters all together. 日常生活日常生活 means daily routine. Let's have a look at the opinion of the first two words first. 日常 the word 日 we've learned this when we talk about 日期 or the date or 生日 the birthday. So this is not new to you. The word 日 has r as a consonant, pronounced as 日 and i as 日 sound, with the fourth tone. Ju, u, ju, 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 ju. Now look at the pinyin for the word chang, c h as a consonant and a n g as vowel, pronounced with the second tone on top of a. This is how you pronounce it. Chu ang chang 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 chang, ju chang. It means daily. Let's have a look at the pinyin of 生活生活 The word 生 has h h as a consonant and e n g as a vowel, with the first tone put on top of e. Pronounced this way, 是嗯生生 We've learned this word in the word 生日 birthday already, right? Now、uh, next word, 活 As h as a consonant and vowel is u and o, pronounced as u u, with the second tone put above letter o, pronounced this way, h u h u h u h u h u going up, h u s h u n g h u means life. When you combine 生活 with 日常 the previous word that we've learned, 日常生活 means daily routine. Let's have a short break and we'll come back to practice this word 日常生活 daily routine. I'll be right back. Let's see how you write 日常 the word 日 we've known this word right. This is how you write it. One, two, three, and four, and the word "chang" has eleven strokes altogether, starting with the one on top, this middle line one, and on the left and on the right two and three, followed by this one four five, and the square six seven eight, and down here nine, ten. With the straight line in the middle, stroke number eleven. 日常 This is how you write it. You can pause and practice writing before we moved on to practice another word. And here it is. 生活 
the word sheng we've learned this word one two three four and five we know how to write this already now let's have a look at huo it has nine strokes starting from the left side one two and three going up and on the right side four five six and the square down here seven eight and nine four nine strokes you can pause and practice writing before we learn vocabulary <laughs> Let's begin with Huo or daily routine in general. Something that everyone needs to do every day. The first one, qi shuang, to get up, qi shuang. Second one, shang ce suo, go to the restroom, shang ce suo. And brush your teeth, it is shua ya, brush your teeth, shua ya. Wash the face, xi lian. Xi lian, wash the face. And for take a bath, it is xi zao. Xi zao, take a bath. Next one, to dress up, it is da ban. Da ban, to dress up. Hua zhuang is to make up. Hua zhuang, make up. Chu fan, have a meal in general. So you can use this for all the meals. Chu fan, to have a meal. But if you want to talk about having a breakfast, you can say chu zao fan. You add the word zao, which means morning, in between chu and fan. Chu zao fan to have a breakfast. For lunch, you say chu wu fan. Wu fan means lunch, so chu wu fan to have lunch. And for dinner, it is wan fan. So you say chu wan fan to have dinner. Chu wan fan. To have dinner and at the end of the day this is what everyone has to do shang chuang sui jiao shang chuang sui jiao is to go to bed i hope you have enough time for sleep each night now let's have a look at more daily routine words shang ban to go to work shang ban and to get off work they say xia ban xia ban for students it is Shang ke to go to class and xia ke to get off class. Shang ke and xia ke. And if you're having a meeting, you say kai hui. Have a meeting. Kai hui. For students to do homework, it is zuo zuo ye. Zuo zuo ye. Do homework. Let's have a short break and we'll come back to learn more words about zuo jia wu, which is to do housework. See you right back. For those who have to do housework, here are the words for you. Zuo jia wu, to do housework. First one, sao di, sweep the floor. Sao di. Second one, tuo di, mop the floor. Tuo di. Third one, si chen, vacuum. Si chen. And si yi fu is to wash your clothes. Si yi fu. And after you finish washing your clothes, liang yi fu, hang the clothes for drying. Liang yi fu, hang the clothes for drying. Next one, yun yi fu, iron the clothes. Yun yi fu. And next one, tie yi fu, tie yi fu, fold the clothes. That's not it yet. There are more jia wu or housework. Zuo fan, which is cook, cook. Zuo fan. Xi wan, wash the dishes. Xi wan. Xi che, wash the car. Xi che. Da sao che suo. Da sao che suo, to clean the toilet. Da sao means to clean. Che suo is toilet. Da sao che suo, to clean toilet. Jiao hua, water the plants. Jiao hua. And if you have a pet at home, this is what you have to do daily. Wei chong wu. Wei chong wu to feed the pets. Those are some of the words for housework. For those you have to do your housework, it might be useful for you. 
and we'll come back to talk about I how or hobbies. So I how means to do hobby. We've learned some of the words about I how or hobby in lesson fourteen already. We'll learn more words today. First one is 看电视剧 watch TV series. 看电视剧 for watch movies, it is 看电影看电影 to watch movies. Next, I how or hobby is very new in this era. 搜头条 so means to search. 头条 is the news headlines. So we don't read newspapers anymore. People usually so tiao search for news headlines online. Tiao is another app in China that you can search for news headlines. So tiao search for news headlines here. Next one, 刷视频刷视频 means to scan videos like、um, you know in TikTok or in、uh, YouTube is 刷视频 to scan for videos. And 刷社交媒体 scan social media like Facebook. 刷社交媒体社交 means social media is 媒体 so you 刷社交媒体 it can be one of your hobbies. I think many of us has this hobby, right? 刷社交媒体 you have to check your Facebook every day, am I right? 刷社交媒体 scan social media. Next hobby, it is. 玩手机，玩手机 is to play with cell phones. You can check your lines or your、um, chat tools like WeChat or WhatsApp. You can play games on your cell phones, so you can use this as a hobby. 玩手机 to play with cell phones. It can be your daily routine as well. 玩手机 play with cell phones. Let's have a look at more words related to hobby. 听音乐 listen to music. 听音乐画画 draw pictures. 画画玩游戏 to play games. It can be board games, not only electronic games. Next word: 上网 go online. 上网 or you go on internet. Next one: 购物 shopping. Is this your hobby? Go u go shopping. Next one, if you are a YouTuber or TikToker, you might have this as your daily routine. 拍视频 or 录视频 To 拍视频 means to take videos, and 录视频 means to record videos to be put online or to share online. 拍视频录视频 take or record videos. And the last page for I how a hobby is related to sports, and it can be one of your daily routine activities. 游泳 go swimming. 游泳 or 练瑜伽 do yoga. 练瑜伽 do yoga. 散步 go for a walk. 散步 or 跑步 go jogging. 跑步打球 play a ball. It can be basketball or volleyball or even golf. 打球 play a ball. 踢球 means to play football. 踢 means to kick, right? So if you are talking about 踢球 as your daily routine, you are talking about you play football. 踢球 play football. And those are all the words related to daily routine, starting from general routine to Doing housework and up to hobbies. I hope these words are useful for you when you want to talk about your daily routine. We'll come back to 朗读和复习 read aloud and review. See you soon. 日常生活，日常生活，日常生活 daily routine. 起床。起床，起床 ，to get up。上厕所，上厕所，上厕所 ，go to the restroom。刷牙，刷牙，刷牙 ，brush your teeth。洗脸，洗脸，洗脸 ，wash the face。
洗澡洗澡洗澡 to take a bath. 打扮打扮打扮 to dress up. 化妆化妆化妆 to make up. 吃饭吃饭吃饭 to have a meal. 上床睡觉上床睡觉上床睡觉 to go to bed. 上班上班上班 to go to work. 下班下班下班 get off work. 上课上课上课 go to class. 下课下课下课 get off class. 开会开会开会 have a meeting. 做作业做作业做作业 do homework. And let's practice some words about housework and hobby. Starting with 做家务 do housework first. 做家务做家务 For example, 扫地扫地扫地 sweep the floor. 拖地拖地拖地 mop the floor. And for 做爱好 do a hobby. 做爱好做爱好 do hobby. Example: 刷视频刷视频刷视频 Scan videos. 玩手机玩手机玩手机 Play with cell phones. That's all for today's lesson. Let me give you a homework for today. Can you respond to this question? 你们今天都做些什么呢 What do you do today? 你们今天都做些什么呢 You can send your response in the comment box below, or you can send me email. The address is in the description box. I wish to hear from you. 你们今天都做些什么呢？好了，这就是今天的课了。别忘我们的口号啊！我学习，我聪明，我快乐，耶 ！I study, I'm smart, I'm happy, 耶 ！Slogan of Study Chinese with Teacher Yang Channel. Thank you for watching and subscribing. See you all next video. Bye. 感谢大家关注，咱们下集再见。